In this trial, we're gonna focus on POA control and overseeded perennial ryegrass. The practice of overseeding perennial ryegrass into dormant Bermuda grass is fairly common, both in golf and in sports. We see it in the, in the golf course industry, kind of throughout the Southern United States, particularly at higher end properties. And we see it in sports, not only fall overseeding uh, of rectangular fields, particularly those used for football and for soccer, but also for baseball and softball fields where the predominant of that season is in the spring of the year when the Bermuda grass would still be dormant. I've highlighted here a series of plots uh, to focus on different strategies for POA control in this overseeded ryegrass system. Uh, this site was overseeded with perennial ryegrass at 300 pounds per acre on October 1st of 2024. That's a fairly low ryegrass overseeding rate. The reason we picked that low rate is we want to have there be enough ryegrass for us to simulate what's done in practice, but also be on the lighter side so we can have some voids and some uh, openings in that that canopy for POA to come into the stand and give us something to evaluate our different herbicide programs so we can understand if they're working uh, as intended. The first plot that's in front of me here, this is a non-treated check plot. Again, this was overseeded October 1st of 2024. The dark green that you can see throughout here, that's our perennial ryegrass. We can see that our POA annual, it's a little bit more of a lime green color. Leaf texture is a bit coarser and it's forming seed heads at the present time. We have really good pressure uh, of POA annual throughout this non-treated check plot. The next plot that's in front of us, so this received one application of a herbicide called Tenacity. Uh, active ingredient is Mesotrione. It's a group 27 herbicide, uh, often referred to colloquially as the bleachers. It turns susceptible plants white. We included this in this trial kind of as a, a proof of concept where on the tenacity label, there's, there's labeling for POA suppression with pre-emergence applications in the, in the seeded establishment of cool season grasses. Here, we put this out. Our application was made on September 23rd, so seven days before overseeding, and it didn't perform so well. We, we had to use five ounces an acre of tenacity, which is the labeled rate for use in rye establishment. Our residual is played out and we have plenty of POA that's in uh, in this plot today. We're going to come over here. This is a, a application that I'd argue is fairly standard in practice right now. Uh, this is an application of Revolver, a group two herbicide uh, applied seven days before overseeding. So again, this would have been a September 23rd application uh, at 17.4 fluid ounces per acre. And you can see there's, there's plenty of POA here in this plot. Our plants are herbicide susceptible. Often when we get out into the field, we can find instances where the POA uh, is resistant to Revolver and other members of group two, the group two herbicide uh, family. That's not the case here. This is a, a susceptible population, but that single application of Revolver alone is not enough to give us the length of control needed to go from October into March or April. The next plot, same kind of concept. So this is Negate, another uh, group two herbicide. Here we have two active ingredients. This is Rim Sulfuron and Met Sulfuron, applied seven days before overseeding. Uh, and the results are similar to what we saw with Revolver alone, that we have some suppression, but when we think about length of control, trying to go from applying this in September, overseeding seven days later, and then getting into the spring of the year, just not enough residual there to do what we need. We're gonna come in now. This is a little bit more of a programmatic approach and something that UT Extension would recommend when we think about uh, POA management and overseeded perennial ryegrass. So here we've got an application of Revolver made seven days before overseeding. So that's an application, uh, September 23rd. We come in, we overseed on October 1st. We follow that up four weeks after overseeding and eight weeks after overseeding with applications of Trimit. So Trimit is a plant growth regulator. Our lab has focused a lot in recent years on using Trimit uh, for POA management in the southeastern region. Here, we're putting it out again four and eight weeks after overseeding. We not only have a darkening of the uh, ryegrass color, uh, but our POA control uh, somewhat improved compared to just using our ALS inhibitor alone. 
The next plot, this is arguably the best plot in the test. So we've got revolver applied seven days before overseeding. We have that trim it program applied after our overseed has emerged. So we have trim it applications at 10 ounces per acre, four weeks after overseeding and eight weeks after overseeding. And then that's followed by a series of progress applications. So a progress application in November on November 25th, and then another one in December on December 17th. And I think when we talk about POA management and overseeded ryegrass, we have so many fewer tools that when we compare it to a non-overseeded situation, the best programs make the use of the most amount of tools, right? So if we have the budget to use every tool at our disposal, we're gonna end at a better place than if we only use a small subset of those. And here's really good evidence. If we look at the center of this plot, we've got that darkening of the ryegrass color largely from that trim it program that was introduced after the uh, new seedling stand was emerged and very little POA as we go down the center. And then the final plot in this experiment to really focus on is similar again in structure. We've got a revolver application seven days before overseeding. We're coming back in with that same trim it series. So a trim it application at 10 ounces, four weeks after overseeding and eight weeks after overseeding. And this has applications yet to come. So this will have a spring treatment series of Velocity PM. The PM stands for POA management. The active ingredient in Velocity PM is Pispyropac sodium. And this is something that we can use in the spring uh, for POA control and overseeded ryegrass. Once we get a little warmer, if you look on the label we want to have consistent temperatures warmer than 70 degrees and kind of have that whole application series done while we're in a 70 to 85 degree window so a little too cool yet in Oxwell for those apps to be applied uh, but you can imagine looking at the POA population here compared to the non-treated that sequential application series of velocity should help get this uh, cleaned up compared to what you see today. That's all we've got uh, in this overseeded ryegrass uh, trial for 2025. Uh, as with any of the work that you see uh, in our uh, POA YouTube video series, if you have any ideas or comments, you can leave those below. And we do our best to try to incorporate that into future trials that uh, hopefully we can share with you on this platform. Thank you.